This video right here, the title kind of caught me off guard because I ain't really know how to take that. The title is people who are only born once in a thousand years. So I'm anxious to see what, are we talking superheroes or people just born just different from others? I don't know, it kind of threw me for a loop. We're gonna check it out, all right? Here we go. Believe it or not, there's a boy in Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region who has the ability to see clearly in the dark. Around 385,000 babies are born each day around the world, each with its solitary identity. Yet there are people who make the world whisper behind their backs. Unique, rare, and exceptional. Let's meet these people who are only born once in a thousand years. I was born with arthrogryposis in the joints in my arms and legs. They didn't develop all the way. Ryan, a 26-year-old born with arthrogryposis, a condition causing joint fusion in the arms and legs, overcame his limitations and started to live independently. As his joints are not fully developed, he has creative ways to get done with his routine tasks. As I got older, I started figuring out how to do all these things. Although Ryan had problems growing up, but as his life journey began, he mastered the ways to adapt to his surroundings. Ryan is fond of using TikTok, sharing his unique ideas and creativity with over 111,000 followers. Ryan's philosophy centers on staying true to oneself amid life's challenges, promoting self-acceptance in a world often marked by negativity. Ryan has big plans of becoming the most successful human in the world, and nothing in his way can stop it from happening, only if he believes in himself. Face Changer Family the Monorang family, born in Indonesia, whose faces exhibit a unique genetic condition causing permanent alterations. Characterized by fragile skin and overgrown gums, they face societal misconceptions and job discrimination due to their distinctive appearance. Really? The family refuses medical diagnosis, leading to speculations about inbreeding and curses. The eldest brother, responsible for his siblings, struggled with employment, but found acceptance online, gaining a- You would think that you wouldn't hear that in 2024, right? Job discrimination based upon your appearance. You would think that would be farthest thing from what you'd hear this day and age. So when you hear it, it's just like, man, what, what time are we living in? That people still have to deal with that. Over 300,000 YouTube subscribers and 2 million TikTok followers. This family highlights the importance of online platforms in creating an accepting environment. Joseph Williams. Joseph, born without a jaw due to a rare condition called autofacial, found love and married Venia. Communicating through text to speech apps and sign language, the couple's love blossomed. He used the text-to-speech app and also to with sign language. He taught me alphabet, so I know from A to Z the alphabet. Leading to an immediate courthouse marriage. Both families, while initially skeptical, now appreciate the unique qualities each brings to the relationship. The couple challenges societal norms, emphasizing the importance of understanding and accepting differences in relationships. Vinia overcame social judgments and stereotypes about their relationship. Their story underscores that love, with its power and adaptability, surpasses physical attributes, offering valuable life. What type of hurdles y'all think they had to face? Besides the medical surface stuff, what type of things do you think they faced? I can already tell you, just by looking at her, they probably was like, she's with him for this reason or that reason. They were probably judging her so bad. You can already guess it. Lessons on patience, acceptance, and embracing diversity. Claudio Vieira de Oliveira. In Brazil, doctors were shocked when a baby was born with a head turned upside down and severely disfigured limbs. Da minha, da minha porta, é, da minha deficiência física. Despite medical advice urging the parents to withhold nourishment, they defied the advice of the specialists and chose to conceal their child's disability. And years later, 
The child turned out to be an accountant and embarked on international journeys delivering wow. motivational speeches. However, all of this couldn't have been possible without the idea of having paternal support, love, and guidance. His story tells us about the importance of love regardless of the family going through a hard time. Nadia Lodic now, the interesting about that is that kind of makes me think like when my son was born, his ankle was kind of turned and curved in, right? And they thought they were going to have to break it his ankle to reset it and then put it in that cast for it to heal and then so to be straight. I wonder if that's what they proposed to them for him. Or can you even do that with it being the neck? I don't know, it's something I was thinking. That's where it instantly took me to. Jella. Nadia Loricella, a 26-year-old inspirational athlete from Sicily, managed to embark on a motorbike ride as a form of therapy. Finding the purpose of her life and confidence despite being born with Focomelia syndrome. This rare condition results in limb malformations, causing the absence or extreme shortening of bones during birth. Nadia has faced prejudice from strangers, but regardless of all the negative comments, she has managed to live her life to the fullest. Discovering the benefits of motorbike therapy for disabled individuals through a YouTube video, Nadia found renewed confidence defying the odds. Now, she's been planning routine motorcycle trips to get herself mesmerized by the beauty of the world. Mona Singh and Sona Singh they were born with one of the rarest medical conditions in the world. Sona and Mona Singh, born with one of the rarest medical conditions, share a stomach, liver, and bladder. Although their hearts, lungs, and brains are separate, they coexist in a unique physical connection. Are you feeling this? Yes. You're not feeling it. Who is feeling this? Him. Despite this connection, Sona and Mona maintain separate identities and express individual preferences. Do you have separate wallets? No, a single wallet. They entertain the idea of marriage with the same person and share common hobbies. Do you guys want to marry the same person? Yes. yes. Same person, same. Such as playing mobile games on a shared phone. The 19-year-old brothers, raised by the Pingalwara Association after being abandoned in Delhi, India, navigate life with two legs, four arms, and a shared identity. They perform daily tasks with remarkable coordination, including operating an electric vehicle. Where Mona controls the brake, Sona manages the accelerator, and they steer together. Zion Clark. The foster system said, hey, we have this kid. We're going to throw him out. Would you take him in? Born without legs due to a rare condition known as caudal regression syndrome, Zion has defied expectations to become an I've accomplished wrestler before. and motivational speaker. Through his accomplishments in wrestling and his impactful speeches, he continues to break down barriers and motivate others to overcome challenges in their own lives. His journey into wrestling began in high school, where he not only overcame physical limitations, but also emerged as an extraordinary athlete. With unmatched determination and a passion for the sport, Zion competed at a high level, earning victories and inspiring others with his talent. Zion's positive attitude and indomitable spirit have garnered admiration and support. I made it here to America's Got Talent to show the world that anything is possible. Nick Dismetsik. Nick was looked at in the hallways differently. It was weird because I'm the younger brother, but I'd try to be protective of him. Nick Dismetsik, a social media influencer's life, took an unexpected turn when he began noticing unusual swelling on his face. After investigations, he discovered that he was battling a genetic disease causing the growth of tumors along nerves. Enduring 180 stitches following two surgeries, mm. He now faces a pivotal third surgery, aiming to alleviate the excess weight on his face. Determined to raise awareness, he courageously shared his journey with his fans. He hopes this procedure will contribute to NF1 research. This influencer story underscores the resilience needed when confronting an obstacle in life, emphasizing the power of sharing experiences to foster awareness and support for medical conditions. Close to the surgeries, maybe spread the message, I don't know. Lindsay Hilton. 
My name is Lindsay Hilton. I was born missing both my legs and both of my arms. Born without limbs, despite her physical challenges and facing doubts because of her appearance, Lindsay Hilton has become well known on social media for her inspiring journey as a rugby player and adaptive rugby? strength athlete. Wow. Strong points are things like pull ups and body weight exercises. Hilton chose to be strong and competitive from a young age, playing sports like soccer, swimming, rugby and field hockey like when you play you know how much uh some of y'all do who've been rocking with me, this channel since from the beginning like when you play rugby oh you mean business <laughs> you know what i'm saying rugby ain't one of them sports that you don't no no you go you playing rugby that's like contact contact you know when they say full contact or you talk about uh even in the nfl they have helmets and pads and everything rugby is not for Hilton, going to the gym is a way to stay healthy, be part of a friendly community, and eat snacks without gaining too much weight. In her 20s, she found CrossFit to get stronger for rugby, even winning a gym contest. In simple words, she inspires others to keep going. CrossFit contests are notoriously grueling, but Lindsay just ranked second. Work through the pain and not give in to that little voice telling you to stop. Abigail and Brittany Hensel. When I went into the hospital, I was expecting one child. They realized that they were conjoined twins. Abigail and Brittany Hensel, born in 1990, embody an exceptionally rare case of conjoined twins with two distinct heads sharing a single body and vital organs. Remar I think most of us know these two now. They're super famous. I think they were on uh, maybe, t was it TLC or some type of, with some type of dating or something like that with them? Like they've been, you, you see them all over social media platforms with what's going on with those two. I haven't seen them in a while, but they're pretty famous. Remarkably, each twin independently controls one arm and one leg, necessitating coordinated efforts in their daily tasks. With unwavering family support, they successfully navigated school, completed their education, and now they work as instructors at a school. Their unity in overcoming challenges serves as an inspiration, demonstrating that living a shared life is no longer a hindrance. Abigail and Brittany have become a beacon of motivation, particularly for young children, showcasing the notion that with determination, anything is achievable. Shiloh Pepin. Some people are short, some people are tall. Look, I'm not even quite the same than all the others, but some people just like the way I am. Shiloh Pepin, renowned as Kennebunkport's Mermaid Girl, was one of three individuals globally living with mermaid syndrome. Born with fused legs, only one partially functioning kidney, and lacking a lower colon, she defied expectations, surviving past the few days initially predicted by doctors. Shiloh underwent her first kidney transplant at two, followed by a second in 2007, after enduring two years of painful dialysis. Despite being on the path to recovery, she succumbed to pneumonia at the age of 10. Her parents were told she would only live for days, but nature had other plans, giving her 10 years on our planet. Her story touched the hearts of millions. Harnam Kaur the Guinness World Record for being the youngest woman with a fully grown beard. Born with polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS, a condition causing excessive hair growth, Harnam made headlines when she entered the Guinness World Records as the youngest woman with a full beard. She had broken the stereotype. Her joint looked better than mine. Like, I'm, I'm sitting over here jealous about femininity and beauty standards. Her decision to keep her beard serves as a symbol of empowerment and defiance against conventional norms. Harnam faced bullying and discrimination throughout her life. I was just sick and tired of all the body shaming and bullying and people not letting me live my life the way I want to. Instead of succumbing to societal pressures, she embraced her unique features and became a powerful advocate for body positivity. As a public speaker, she shares her personal journey to inspire others to embrace their individuality and challenge challenged preconceived notions of beauty. Arnam Kaur is now known as a British Sikh model, activist, and motivational speaker for challenging societal norms and promoting self-love and acceptance, and has helped in creating a better community for females. Isaiah Acosta. Hey, how are you doing? I'm missing a jaw. 
a vocal voice. I'm not missing a life. Born in 1999 in Arizona, Isaiah faced a life-altering circumstance early on, being born without a jaw. Despite this rare condition, he has emerged as a source of inspiration for many through his unwavering spirit. Isaiah communicates using a text-to-speech device, and his story gained widespread attention when he collaborated with rapper Trap House for the song Oxygen to Fly, which sheds light on his experiences and aspirations. He wishes to use music as a medium for conveying messages for hope. I more so feel that he's a poet. He's writing poetry. He's talking about his experience. Beyond his musical endeavors, Isaiah Acosta has become an advocate for those with disabilities working to break down societal barriers and challenge about. perceptions by being a motivational speaker. He encourages others to see beyond physical differences and recognize the shared humanity that unites us all. Lalit Patadar. <laughs> A resilient 17-year-old student from the small village of Nandleta in Madhya Pradesh has faced a lifetime of challenges due to an extremely rare condition known as hypertrichosis, often referred to as werewolf syndrome. Born with a rare congenital condition known as hypertrichosis. This genetic condition results in excessive hair growth all over the body. However, this is an exceptionally rare condition with only around 50 documented cases since the Middle Ages. Lalit Patadar maintains a remarkably positive outlook on life. In the face of relentless bullying, he vows to always be happy and keep others happy. Lalit's optimism in the face of such challenges serves as an inspiration to the strength of the human spirit. I don't know if he wants to, so I, I, if I were them, I would just offer it and see what he would think, but I, I'd be trying to book myself into a movie. Whatever type of movie, like, he could, he, you can see he's going to be a movie star. Movie star, they can cast him in whatever type of films and stuff like that, so all them people picking on him, I would have the last laugh, bro, because <laughs> I'm going to be seen on it, like, you know he has several opportunities out there coming in the future if he wants them. If he wants to go a different route, then that's on him. That's up to him. But you know he would have like a career in film. Luna Fenner. South Florida mom whose daughter was born with a disfiguring and potentially cancerous condition. I have the latest on the ongoing effort to remove a Batman birthmark from a little girl's face. Luna Fenner was a baby girl from Florida whose birth brought joy to her parents. However, Luna was born with a rare skin condition known as congenital melanocytic nevus, presenting as a large birthmark covering her nose and eyelids, resembling a Batman mask. Sadly for Luna, she had been the center of ridicule and was called ugly. But most people weren't aware that Luna was grappling with a severe form of skin cancer. She was born with the giant nevus, like the birthmark, and that can become to a melanoma, like a bad cancer. In a series of courageous journeys to Russia with her mother, Luna underwent six groundbreaking medical procedures that successfully eliminated her pigmentation, giving her a new life and hope for a better future. It's always heartbreaking to hear when you hear like, a kid going through something, a baby going through something, and now they have to go through all of these surgeries, man. That's the heartbreaking part, to hear them have to, you know, not only deal with what they're dealing with, but now all of these surgeries, operations, and different things, like, man, all they want to do is be a kid. Samuel Mann. We were being told that Samuel would only have a little time, possibly, after he was born. And even if I had just that little time, I wanted that with him. Samuel Mann is an 11-year-old boy living through the harsh realities of life with his unshakable smile and high spirit. Samuel has a rare form of dwarfism called thanatophoric dysplasia. It's a known fact that his parents were multiple times urged for a therapeutic adoption, but they chose to stick with their beautiful child. Samuel has his own way of communicating with others and always keeps his smile on his face. His parents consider him a gift from the divine and he's only strengthened their family. Samuel has taught the world that every life is worth saving, whether there are challenges or not. We should never stop celebrating the good things. Right. Epiphany. <laughs> A 17-year-old girl living with kyphosis, a rare condition that normally occurs in curved spine, faces a challenge in the form of bullying. She has earned herself the title of the world's thinnest girl. 
Despite the hardships in life, Epiphany is determined to excel academically, using her studies as a form of revenge against those who bully her. Epiphany's mother, a single parent raising seven children, struggles to provide for the family's needs. And Epiphany aspires to become a doctor and plans on advocating for the individuals who have been dealing with similar problems on their own. She wishes to start an NGO that will help donate for good causes. Nick Vujicic. It was like a light bulb when, you know, just flashed in my brain. I'm like, hey, now life I see as an opportunity. Nick Vujicic is an Australian motivational speaker and author born on December 4th, 1982 in Melbourne, Australia. He gained worldwide recognition for his inspiring story of overcoming Tetra Amelia Syndrome, a rare disorder characterized by the absence of all four limbs. From a young age, Nick encountered numerous obstacles and endured bullying, but he learned to adapt to his circumstances. He started speaking publicly at the age of 19, sharing his views and spreading a message of hope. In addition to his motivational speaking, Nick Vujicic is a successful author, having written several books, including Life Without Limits and Unstoppable. In my life, there's hardly anything I've found that I can't do. Isla Kilpatrick Scruton. Um, that she had a condition called mandibular aqua dysplasia, but the mutation that they'd found they'd never seen before. Isla is a unique four-year-old born with a rare mutation called mandibular aqua dysplasia. She's had to face problems like bone growth and premature organs from an early age. Furthermore, it's recorded that she happens to be the only person in the world with this condition. Although it puts her life at a significant risk, despite having her checked by various doctors, her family strives for her to have a normal life. Isla, along with her sister, gained popularity on TikTok, earning the nickname Benjamin Button due to her premature aging, in reference to the famous movie. But other than the odd outlook, she happens to be the most lively person on the inside. Zenzamana Ellie. In Rwanda, a woman who had lost her first five children found solace when Ellie, a boy with unique features and learning disabilities, was born. The boy, however, depicted unusual characteristics, and sadly, villagers targeted him, calling him bad names, due to which he ended up spending a lot of time alone in the woods. He also had a strange diet of eating leaves and grass instead of regular food. Following the viral spread of his story, global contributions poured in to support him and his mother. With a newfound assistance, Ellie attended school and also learned to communicate, and has mm. transformed into a local superstar, donning suits and designer clothes. Tio Satrio. Yo, I love to hear that. Tio Satrio is another 15-year-old from West Java, Indonesia. He defies all the odds with his incredible human spirit. He was born with a rare condition that left him without arms and legs. However, regardless, knowing that he was beyond being normal, he didn't give up and instead chose to battle the hardship in his own unique ways. He possesses a brilliant mind, like he can use a pen with his mouth to write, and he also loves football. His idea of engaging into sports is through playing video games, highlighting passion and adaptability. His life is nothing short of a miracle. Bojana Danilovic. When visual information reaches her brain, it is processed as an upside down image. Bojana Danilovic, a 29 year old from Serbia, faces life with a rare neurological condition that causes visual information to be processed upside down in her brain. She was diagnosed with spatial orientation phenomenon. People normally approach her stating that she's been reading the newspaper upside down. While this condition affects certain aspects of her vision, she can perceive people normally. Despite this unique perspective, spatial orientation poses challenges, including discouragement from obtaining a driver's license and difficulties in education. Discouraged from getting a driving license. I had problems at school. I could not get the education I wanted. Boyana, however, hasn't allowed these challenges to hinder her progress. Working at the local council, she utilizes a special inverted screen. And I even was about to say, with technology now, she's probably back in the game. Maybe earlier in life, they probably didn't have the technology capabilities to be able to accommodate her. But now, flipping a screen upside, you know, they have stops that trade like that inverse. Or you could trade, 
change the screen to where it, it reads like that. Like technology, see, this is the good stuff that technology can do. At home, medical science hasn't reached up to the point of identifying what could be the root solution for this issue. Chahat Kumar. Jahat Kumar, an eight-month-old baby girl from Punjab, India, faced a health condition as she had a weight of 38 pounds, which is equivalent to the weight of a four-year-old. The reason for the baby's weight gain is its diet. However, the medical professionals aren't able to find a probable cause for her disease. The baby's excessive weight has led to breathing problems. However, the parents are still hopeful that one day their daughter will lead a normal life. Although the father earns limited resources, he plans on taking help from the government and other private or state-owned institutions to help his child. Byron Schlecker. My tongue's uh, 8.6 centimeters wide, which is roughly a little more than two centimeters wider than the new iPhone 6. Byron Schlecker was born in 1968. He achieved notable recognition for having the world's widest tongue. He managed to become significantly widespread across social media. This accomplishment had added his name to the 2020 Guinness World Records. The total length of his tongue is measured to be at 8.6 centimeters. He has also been part of online memes. However, not only Byron, but his daughter too also holds the record for widest tongue for females. It does feel a little weird, like this is not really something that happens every day. They both have a unique bond with each other, worthy of being cherished by millions around the world. It's always nice to have a world record running within the bloodline, huh? Only the future will tell if another Schlecker manages to hold the widest tongue title or not. Adrienne Lewis. Hi, my name's Adrienne Lewis. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Muskegon, Michigan. This American woman first rose to prominence in 2014 wow. when her impressive tongue measurements went viral. Adrienne, born in 1991 and hailing from Michigan, gained attention for her unique talent as she claims to have the world's longest tongue. Her tongue measures around four inches from the tip to the back of her throat, Jeez. and she showcases her unusual skill through videos and social media. While Adrienne Lewis may be best known for her extraordinary tongue length, she continues to navigate the online world with a positive outlook, as in beyond her viral fame and popularity. Adrienne has expressed her desire to use her platform to encourage body positivity and mental health awareness. She Did she just paint a picture with her tongue, bro? To use her platform to encourage body positivity and mental health awareness. She promotes embracing one's unique qualities and challenging societal norms. Congratulations! What Jeff she Dabe. Do? Let's start with this. Let's turn so the camera can see. My hand versus oh my your gosh. hand. Hailing from Stacy, Minnesota, Jeff Dabe was born in 1963. He's an arm wrestling competitor known for his unusually large hands and forearms. He gained attention for their extraordinary size, likely due to a condition called gigantism or acromegaly. Dave's unique physical attributes became widely recognized when videos and images of his arm wrestling matches surfaced on social media. His massive hands and forearms give him a distinct advantage in arm wrestling competitions. Yo, his hand just swallowed that dude. Hands and forearms give him a distinct advantage Look at that hand, fam. Yo, he is real life Popeye. Remember Popeye back in the day? Some of y'all don't remember that. For those of us who do, yo, he's the real life Popeye. I get that same Popeye tattoo and I walk around like Popeye all day long. Tidge in arm wrestling competitions. Despite his fame in the arm wrestling community, Jeff Dave maintains a low key profile and there's limited information available about his personal life. I just kind of stayed the same as I grew up. I also grew up on a farm, so I used to do a lot of farm chores. Isaac Johnson. I have the biggest mouth in the world. Isaac Johnson of the Jeez. United States managed to secure the Guinness World Record for the largest mouth gape, measuring at 10.196 centimeters, or approximately 4.104 inches from top to bottom. This is equivalent to the size of a baseball. 
Isaac initially held the record until it was briefly broken by another individual. However, he managed to reclaim it by extending his mouth another 0.021 centimeters. Isaac gained widespread recognition, amassing over 74 million TikTok views. I'd be scared to do that, bro. I used to hate doing that. You get that little crack right there in, in between you, you, this area right here, and it will bother you and irritate you and burn all day and stuff like that. If you do that, you wake up in the morning and, and do that too quick. Now you got to deal with it all day long. Yeah, that'd be my issue. Solidifying his status as an instant celebrity. As he's been called upon numerous shows for portraying his talent, fans Jeez. always get astonished to see his wide open mouth. Ramesa Gelgi. It is so rare, and I am the first case diagnosed in Turkey. Born on January 1, 1997, Rumeysa Gelgi is a Turkish advocate, researcher, and web developer. Gelgi lives in the Karabuk province of Turkey. Her height was caused by Weaver syndrome, a rare condition which causes rapid growth, among other abnormalities. It affects men three times more than women. Although, because of her condition, she usually uses a wheelchair to move, but can walk for short periods of time with a walker. Due to this condition, she cannot sit in seats under 50 to 55 centimeters tall. On September 28, 2022, Gelgi was able to fly in an airplane for the first time in her life. Turkish Airlines had to place a stretcher on six chair rows in one of their planes to make her trip from Istanbul. How much the tallest? You! <laughs> you, of course! Matthias Schlitt. So that's, a whole, and that's a good base, but it's not more. And Matthias Schlitt from Haldensleben is a German arm wrestler who was born on April 2nd, 1987, with a genetic defect called klippel trenone weber syndrome. Matthias was born with a more powerful right arm. He turned this imbalance to his advantage, though, and chose a career as an arm wrestler. Since 2004, Matthias Hellboy Schlitt has been part of the competitive arm wrestling team at VFL Wolfsburg. After several successes in various amateur tournaments, he won the German Youth Championship in the under 70 kilogram class in his first professional competition. His impressive journey includes undefeated victories in the German Championships in 2008 and 2009, leading Team North to the Bundesliga Team Championship, winning silver at the 2010 German Championship. Mm. Sam Burns. I'm Sam, and I just turned 17. And I have a disease called progeria. It affects only about 350 kids today. Sam Burns, a remarkable individual, left an enduring impact on the world before his passing in 2014 at the age of 17. A yeah, very sad day, 17-year-old Sam Burns being laid to rest today. He was born with progeria, a rare and rapid aging disorder. Sam became an ambassador for progeria awareness, shedding light on this uncommon condition and fostering hope for affected families. Sam's life was an inspiring testament to resilience and positivity. About all the positive things that are around and, and uh, try to make it better, so. Despite facing physical challenges, he embraced life with an infectious enthusiasm that touched hearts globally. Sam's story gained prominence through the HBO documentary Life According to Sam, which chronicled his journey and advocacy efforts. His TEDx talk, My Philosophy for a Happy Life, garnered millions of views, wow. encapsulating his wisdom on finding joy in the face of adversity. Every time I see Sam, it's sort of a moment he gets off the bus. Mandy Seller. My left leg has continued to grow at a rapid pace. Mandy entered the world with a genetic anomaly that led to abnormal development in both of her legs, resulting in an extraordinary weight of 95 kilograms just for her lower limbs. Regardless of the obstacles in her life, she chose to lead a life of autonomy, relying on tailored supports, specially crafted outfits, and a customized hand-controlled vehicle to navigate her surroundings. To add to her already complex circumstances, Mandy underwent the difficult decision of a surgery. Strikingly, instead of relieving her from challenges, this decision brought forth a new set of complexities as her severed. See, that'd be the scary thing about the surgeries, man. You think you 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 solving one problem, but here you here comes another one. That's due to the surgery. So it's like, man, you, it's almost like you 
You dang if you do, dang if you don't. You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, my heart goes out to him, man, because you be wanting to do things to live a normal life. And then people will show up and not all of them have good intentions. They just be wanting to, to, to try things out on you. And you're like, man, listen, man, I'm no charity case. I'm still a human being, like. Leg began to exhibit an accelerated growth rate. In the midst of these trials, Mandy maintains an unwavering hope. Her story shows how strong she is as she keeps going with courage and a positive attitude. I'm hoping to uh, get a wheelchair and one that I can actually push myself around in, which is something I've never. Kim Goodman. Oh, that's the lady with the eyes, right? People are paying to see this. Pop out. Goodman is now Guinness certified for the world's longest ah. eye. Kim Goodman holds the Guinness World Record for the farthest eyeball protrusion. With an extraordinary and somewhat puzzling talent, she distinguishes herself ah. in a league of her own. I think I remember her story. Didn't she like sneeze one day and that's how she found out she could do that? Kim can extend her eyeballs beyond the normal human capacity, with her eyes popping out of their sockets by an impressive 0.47 inches. This unique feat has captivated audiences globally, making her a standout personality. Kim's Guinness World Record highlights the breadth of extraordinary skills that individuals can possess, turning her into a notable figure yeah. in the realm of unique and astonishing accomplishments. <laughs> uh, that's because my, all I do is squint and they pop out. <laughs> Rodriguez Hernandez. Rodriguez Hernandez achieved the Guinness World Record for having the largest feet. His right foot measured 1.31 feet long. However, his left foot reached 1.30 feet, surpassing the feet of the world's tallest man. Unfortunately, Rodriguez has faced multiple challenges due to the giant size of his feet. He has always struggled to find shoes appropriate to his size. To reach school, he had to resort to wearing shoes hand crafted from tires and fabric. Unable to find shoes in his hometown, he had to contact a shoemaker in Germany to create a shoe of special materials. Despite having to undergo treatments, Jason's feet had continued to grow, even to this day. Keith Martin. He's the UK's heaviest man. The world's heaviest man, Keith Martin, succumbed to pneumonia at the age of 44, weighing 980 pounds. Martin had been bedridden all his life. As he was unable to walk, he had chosen to confine himself to the premises of his house. He had a habit of excessive eating, consuming a whopping 2,000 calories per day. That's 10 times more than required for an average human being. Martin's meals had included almost six egg wraps for breakfast, followed by a diet based on junk food, including Big Macs, pizzas, kebabs, and more overfilled Chinese takeaways. Believe it or not, there's a boy in Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region who has the ability to see clearly in the dark. Nong Yuhui, known as the Cat Boy from China, possesses a unique ability to see in complete darkness. He was born with brilliant blue eyes similar to those of a Siamese cat. Medical examinations identified a rare genetic disorder affecting his retina, contributing to his night vision. Despite facing challenges in bright sunlight due to congenital ocular albinism, Nong's night vision capabilities have garnered attention. This exceptional ability was discovered when a teacher noticed his difficulty playing in daylight, but clear vision at night. He decided to take him out to catch crickets during the nighttime. And surprisingly, the boy didn't even use a flashlight and was able to see clearly. <laughs> Nong's eyes exhibit a green light when tested in the absence of light. Journalists conducted tests, revealing Nong's proficiency in answering math questions in a dark room. <laughs> 